Please, tell me I'm dreaming this. Sorry, Jack. It was found on your desk in the squad room. Okay, so that baby gift I found stuck in with my other wedding presents, that, that wasn't an accident, was it? How the hell did this bear get on my desk? I, I don't know. There were ghouls and goblins in and out all day looking for candy. Someone slipped this by us. Yeah, definitely a Julia style maneuver. Damn, damn. Earth. This is my wedding day. Yeah, what better way to mess with your head, huh? Take the focus off you and Carly, put it right back on her. Come on, Jack, it's, it's, it's a game. Yeah, only Julia's games tend to be the life and death kind. If she's lurking around, Carly's not safe. I want you to do something for me. Sure, of course, if I can. I know where this bear came from. I want to know if Julia is, is doing this from a distance or if she's nearby. You know, not that I'm telling you what to do, but if Julia is back in town, do you really think it's a good idea to go through with this wedding? Because the last time she showed up was drugs and a harness, I believe. Now, who says she hasn't graduated to bigger and better no, I toys? I am not going to do that to Carly. She has spent months planning this yeah. thing, and we have VIPs from the fashion industry who have flown halfway across the world just to wish her well, not to mention all the media people here. And record the whole thing. No, this wedding is going on as planned today, and that's that. Okay, uh, Jack, Jack, the altars that way. Yes, I know that. I gotta find Carly and make sure she's okay. Damn, I was holding things up. If I hear this processional one more time, I'm just gonna be forced to get up there and sing a song myself. <laughs> I have no idea. All I know is, on my end, everything was going according to schedule, and then Rosanna appeared. Mm. Don't you dare drop your little bomb and sashay out of here. Don't exert yourself, Carly. There's nothing worse than perspiration marks beneath the arms of the bride slash designer. How dare you come in here and start spouting accusations? Where do you get this garbage? I think we both already know. A man, a bottle of champagne, an office, and a little blonde slut. Sound familiar? You don't know what you're talking about. I have to admit, at first, I thought I followed the wrong path. I thought I had the goods to enforce the infamous Carly Clause and kick you and Craig out on your little behinds. But as it turns out, Craig was nowhere to be found. And you had to satisfy your insatiable needs with somebody else. You're making this up. Nobody could make up anything as sordid as your behavior. Yeah, you could. And Jack is not going to believe your lie. Except that you and I both know that I am not lying. So, let's get down to brass tacks and discuss how we're going to salvage the situation, shall we? No? Okay, I'll go first. All you have to do is walk away from Jack, Monte Carlo, and Craig. Simple. No? Dream on, Rosanna. Somebody forced me to walk away from Jack two and a half years ago, and nobody will ever do that to me again. Walk away now, and you can keep Parker. And whatever reputation you managed to salvage over the last two years. I wouldn't have any reputation anywhere if I broke Jack's heart again. Break his heart now by walking away, or break it when he finds out that the night before the wedding you were in some other man's pants. It's a pick your poison kind of thing. What do you care about me and Jack? I don't. Well, then what the hell is it? Is it Craig? He, he started the Monte Carlo and gave me a job? What? How does it feel to have the whole world at your feet? To have a job that you love and a man that you adore and a life everybody would envy? I bet it feels pretty good. And that's just how I wanted you to feel when you had to watch it all slip away. What are you saying? Are you saying that you set me up for this? I'm saying that you have everything that I had once upon a time. And now I get to rip that glorious rug right out from under you just like you did to me. What kind of monster are you? I'm your finest creation, Carly. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna get Parker and walk out of here, or is Jack gonna have to find out what you really are? Go to hell, Rosanna. Jack will never believe your lies. Jack and I love each other, which is something you will never have, no matter how hard you try, and something you will never destroy, no matter how hard you try. So stop it! Hey, I've been looking all over for you. What's wrong? I was just wishing Carly a long and happy married life. Isn't that so? I thought I told you to leave Carly and me alone. Of course. I hope your wedding is everything you wanted it to be. Yeesh. You okay? 
You? You look stunning. Come on, I can't handle it any longer. Let's go get married. Hagwood, I'm sorry, but I need you to skip out of the wedding. And if you're really on your toes, you'll be back in time for cake. We've got to find out how this got on Jack's desk. If we find out where the bear is from, maybe we'll find out where Julie is now, OK? OK, no problem, detective. I'll get right on it. All right, you're the best. All right. So beautiful. Are you okay? What did Rosilla want? Nothing worth my time. Oh, Carly. Can you believe it? After everything you've been through, you and Jack are finally getting married. Oh, honey, I can't remember the last time that you and I were happy at the same time. 